Hey guys, so my name is Josh. Uh, I'm a physics and math tutor on Wyzance. Uh, I thought I'd try to come on and help out with this question. So the question is, in the Bohr model of the hydrogen atom, the electron is in orbit about the nuclear proton at a radius of 5.29 times 10 to the negative 11th meters. So assuming that this electron is in circular orbit around the proton, determine the speed of the electron. So I already went and um, did a little drawing of what's happening in this, in this atom. So we have um, a proton in the center. Um, and then we have an electron orbiting around it in a circle um, at radius r, r equal to 5.29 times 10 to the negative ninth meters. And I already wrote out some constants that are going to be important in this problem. So QE is the charge of an electron and a proton. Um, its charge is 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. I wrote down the mass of the electron which is the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. And then Coulomb's constant, which is just denoted as K, uh, which is equal to 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. Depending on how nice your, your teacher are is, um, you'll either be given these constants or you'll have to memorize them. So circular orbit is kind of key to this problem. Whenever we see circular orbit, we should be thinking centripetal force. If we see circles, things moving in circles. So um, I'm going to go ahead and write the formula for centripetal force, which is Fc centripetal force is equal to the mass of the thing that's moving in a circle uh, times its velocity squared over the radius. So now we just, we're actually pretty close to being done. Now we just need to figure out what the centripetal force is in this problem. So we have a proton in the center, which is attracting the negatively charged electron towards it uh, right here. So this is going to be our centripetal force, Fc. And it's a force that's acting between two charges. So this is actually um, Coulomb's law. It's um, the electric force, which is pulling them together. So to describe the force between two electric charges acting on each other, we use Coulomb's law which is just stated as this, um, F is equal to Coulomb's constant, K, times the value of the two charges multiplied by each other, Q1 and Q2, over the distance between them, which is denoted by R. So this is actually going to be the centripetal force in this problem. It's the force between these two charges. So now we can um, set these equal to each other. So the, for the centripetal force equal to mv squared over r is equal to Coulomb's force, uh, which is equal to kq1, q2 over r. So we have uh, the centripetal force mv squared over r is equal to k q1 times q2 over r. So now I'll start denoting things that are important for this problem. The thing that's moving around a circle in the centripetal force is the electron. So what we have here is the mass of the electron. And the two charges are going to be uh, the charge of an electron and the charge of a proton, which are exactly equal in charge. Um, protons and electrons have exactly the same charge. So now we can uh, try to solve for the thing that the question's asking us for. Um, so remember that we're trying to solve for the speed of the electron, so v squared. Um, so I'm just going to do some algebra and try to isolate this v squared. And during a few algebra steps, we get v squared is equal to. QE times QE, so QE squared um, K over the mass of the electron. This is just algebra steps. Um, if you want to go through this yourself, just check your algebra at the end. This should be the answer that you're getting. V equals square root K 
QE squared over ME. So all that's left to do is to plug in um, to plug in the values of our constants, and you should get the answer. Thank you.